Hi, hello, hi. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So, today, um, I don't know. I don't really know what this video is. It's mostly a get ready with me, but, but I finally, finally got my last two like makeup haul products. Like there was a bunch of other stuff in that second Sephora order that I got. The two I was really waiting for were my Milk Kush Brow, Triple Brow, whatever pen, and this new Melted Chocolate Liquid Eyeshadow from Too Faced. Like these were my last two makeup products that I was waiting to get. So I'm going to try those on camera for you guys, but the rest of this is just going to be, you know, other makeup that I've ordered recently. Sorry, it's really windy out here. You guys, if you watched my last new makeup video, I was like, oh my gosh, it's finally 70 here in Michigan. Girl, it's 30 today. <laughs> I can't keep up living in Michigan sometimes. Like, literally, it was 70 last weekend, and all week it was sunny and beautiful, and then, like, Thursday hit, and it was like girl bye it's 40 degrees and raining bye today is literally 30 degrees so Michigan's a lot to deal with <laughs> but anyway so we're just gonna get ready I've got like a real ginger spice situation today I was just really feeling it I don't know who knows why but whatever it's cool no today we do have like two errands to run but it's really just like picking up stuff um we're gonna run out the, this like apple orchard that's maybe like 40 minutes from our house open today. I'm gonna use my Tasha liquid canvas to prime. And um, they sell, like they make their own wine and uh, hard cider and stuff like that and donuts. My other donuts are so good. So we're gonna like run out there today and I'm gonna pick up some stuff and my mom lives close to it. So we're gonna drop some stuff off for Mother's Day for my mom. She doesn't know that, it's a complete surprise. So luckily this video will um, be going up after that because <laughs> she watches all of my videos. I'm still loving this Tasha Silk Canvas liquid canvas. It just, it does make like a little filter on your face. I love it. Let's see, what foundation do we want to try today? I get, so I always get like the foundation samples when I get a Sephora order. But you know what is so annoying is when Sephora sends you samples, but they don't send you the samples you picked. Like that happened in this last one because the samples I picked for this Sephora order that I was supposed to get were the Charlotte Tilbury foundation and the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I didn't get either of those. <laughs> I got the YSL All Hours foundation and Oh, they send terrible shades. Anyway, and the in a sample of Tatcha Dewey Skin Cream. And I'm like, girl, you know how many samples of Tatcha Dewey Skin Cream I've had? Anyway, I guess I'll just try this YSL one because why not? These are the shades they send. Do they think that they only send samples to white people? I mean, really? Sorry to anyone else that has to get one of these because I'm about to use like this like a combination of these two which is like the second darkest shade they said like what are they thinking I guess they don't have a very good shade range to begin with but I've never tried this foundation so might as well give it a go I have since I have this little sample um I know a lot of people a lot of people like this foundation a lot of people talk about it not so much anymore but I feel like they used to a lot hmm so this is the, that second darkest shade. This is BD35, which is warm caramel. <laughs> Sorry, that's so stupid to me because like in any other situation, I would never be a warm caramel. Like in any other foundation range, if it was titled warm caramel, I would never even try it. But this... There's a tiny hair, Ugh. but this foundation, for whatever reason, um, doesn't come in dark colors. They should really, really work on that. It's a really good match for my self tanner, though. Like it's pretty much the same color as my chest, so that shade is 
nice for me, but it shouldn't be that way. So I think that this applied really well and it gave really good coverage, but it's very matte. It's kind of more matte than I was expecting. I don't know why. It has a really, really weird smell. Like, this is going to sound so random, and it maybe just doesn't smell like this to anyone else but me, but it smells like cucumber melon. Has anyone used this foundation and can tell me what they think it smells like? Because I think I'm crazy that I think it smells like cucumber melon, but to me it really smells like cucumber melon, which is very strange in a foundation. <laughs> I kind of really like how that looks, though. It is definitely, like... It's more kind of matte, like it dried down really quickly, like more quickly than I kind of expected to, it to, but I really like it. Let's go in with some concealer. I'm going to go in with my Jouer Essential High, Covered, li High Coverage Liquid Concealer. The last time I used this, I kind of thought it wasn't as full coverage as that everyone made it seem. Everyone made it seem like it was the most high coverage thing in the world. Especially since it like calls itself that. I really thought it was going to be so full coverage, but I just didn't really think it was. So let's see what I think today. If that changes at all. I know I thought it was really brightening, which I love. <laughs> maybe a little bit better right now than I did the first time. I'm still gonna layer it just a like a little 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 bit just in the inner corner area. Hmm. I don't think that really did anything but I like that this that this concealer doesn't really get cakey or like stick or like layer funny like some do. I I hate that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna powder quick. I'm gonna use a little of the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance under my eyes and then a little Huda all over my face. I'm gonna put that on with my Blendable as I usually do. And I'll be right back and we'll try this eyebrow pen. <laughs> Okay, now I've got my face powder down. Again, like that, Huda powder just makes your face look so velvety. I was maybe like a little bit worried about it just because that foundation was a little bit more matte. I was like adding this powder, is it gonna be like matte, 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 or not? But it really wasn't. I don't really know how to use this pen. <laughs> so this is it. This I like their packaging. It's always so cute and just kind of simple. So that's what it looks like. It's just these little spikes. Oh. You just, it's hard to, it's kind of hard. You just have to be like, so careful with it. It does create cool little lines, but oh my god, you have to be so careful with it. I really genuinely don't know if I can do my whole eyebrow with this. I guess we're gonna try. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get my spoolie. I'm just gonna spoolie my eyebrows quick. Oh, I can bring you guys in a little bit closer. Might be easier to see. So I have the shade. What shade did I? What was the shade called? Dub. <laughs> I have the shade Dub. It's their, like, auburn tone shade. So let's just, oh, let's just see what we're, what we can do. Hmm. You know, it's so weird because you can kind of, like, turn it and get it get more color and then like use little things and get like little strokes. I kind of like how it looks 
on camera. It looks very natural. I don't know. Okay, let's try this one. I think that's the fastest I've ever done my eyebrow in my whole entire life. You guys, I might really, really like this. I need to play with it a little bit more, but I think I might really, really like this, which is weird. <laughs> I usually hate new eyebrow things. I think I also really like the color of it. I like that it's, it's a light red color, kind of like my hair. Okay, now let's try this, this. Normally I do my eyebrow, but I don't, I've been doing my makeup so all over the place lately. Normally I would do my eyes next and then finish the rest of my face. So I guess that's just what we're gonna do. So when I went to buy these, a lot of the colors were out of stock. <laughs> so I got this shade. This is Amaretto. I don't think it smells like chocolate. I can't tell, but my sense of smell is so bad. I don't think it smells like chocolate. I might have to have my husband smell it. <laughs> I can't, so I have a really bad sense of smell. Um, most of the time I like can't smell anything. So I'm not sure if this smells or not. <laughs> that sounds so stupid, but like sometimes I can smell things and sometimes I can't. And I just like have a really messed up sense of smell. I don't know. Anyway, so I don't know if this smells like chocolate. I can't tell and I might have to just have my husband smell it because I just genuinely cannot tell but I would be disappointed if it didn't smell like chocolate all their other stuff does but anyway this is the shade amaretto it's pretty it's just like a almost rosy warm brown color yeah so many of these shades were sold out though and I was like guess I'm not getting the ones I wanted that's okay, I actually really, really like this one. I'm gonna go in with this Morphe X Jeffree Star JS4 brush. I'm sorry, JS6 brush. And that's what I'm gonna use to just kind of blend this out on my eye. Now when I do, when I use like the Huda ones, I do like a less is more approach because I'd rather have to build it up because those ones dry down so fast, so we'll see. Okay, I would say with these, a less is more situation is good too because um, a little goes a long way. You know what's weird is like blending that color out now. I don't like it as much. I feel like it looks like a bruise. My eye looks bruised. We'll see. less on this side and it was like so much you literally need like a dot of this oh my gosh you know it was really really easy to blend out though which i love and appreciate because no one wants like a patchy eyeshadow and that was so freaking easy to blend and it didn't dry down too quickly. I'm gonna use a little bit of this off my hand that's like already dried to do under my eye because um, I think it'll be a little easier. That was a lot easier to do under my, my lash line with this swatch that was like half dried down. I just picked some up on that brush and blended it out. That was pretty easy. I still feel weird about this color. I don't know if it's like too much of like almost a red undertone. I don't know. I'm gonna use a shimmer across my eye. I brought over this Artist Couture Diamond Lights in the shade Bronze. And I just don't know if I'm feeling it with that color. I thought it was going to be cute, but I don't know if, I, if I'm feeling that. I mean, I love that Diamond Lights finisher, but ooh, perfect. I'm going to use the shade Instagram model from my Smoky Glow palette. It's the only palette I have over here, and honestly, I don't want to get up, but I think this shade, yeah, will be perfect. I'm just going to use my finger. Well, 
Yeah, I like this color now that this is like a rose gold look, but before I was kind of like, yeah, I like it a lot more now. I think I'm still gonna use just a tense of this Diamond Lights finisher because it, it just creates such a cr pretty sparkle. I mean, that was a totally unnecessary step and I don't think it actually added anything, but that's okay. <laughs> We're here for fun, right? Okay, let's do some bronzer. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Island Ting bronzer by itself today. So I have yet to use it on its own. Let's do it. I'm gonna use my big Morphe M527 that I always use for bronzer. I'll just get right in here. So what are you guys watching during this lockdown? Have you watched a lot of Netflix? Or Hulu? Or what? Like, tell me what you guys have been watching. I feel like my husband and I have gone through like 30 shows. <laughs> Um, because we actually have, so. <laughs> I've been making him watch shows that I like. He's been making me watch shows that he likes. And we've just kind of like, been doing our best to pass the time, you know? We both still work during the day, but like, having noise on in the background in the form of shows is important. <laughs> so we've been watching shows while we work and stuff. But yeah, so we've watched, like, I made him watch Mad Men because I really liked that show. And he had never seen it. And I was like, really? We need to see this. We watched... What else did we watch? Tiger King, obviously. Who hasn't? We just finished watching this show on HBO called The Leftovers. He, like, really wanted me to watch it. And we did. It was a weird show, you guys. But if you're into, like, psychological thrillers, you would probably love it. I really like that bronzer. I see why everyone like freaked out about it. People were all about these Fenty bronzers when they came out, you know, and I just never got one. Oh, I'm so mad. I meant to try my Fenty matchstick. I got the shade Latte. I had a Fenty matchstick like back in the day when they first came out, but I got that like amber one that was like gray. Ooh, that's a really warm color. Oh, I meant to use this and I forgot. Oh well. Next time. For blush, I'm gonna use my little Hourglass Luminous Flush blush. That blush is so pretty. Live for a good blush. And this one is a good blush. So for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with my Smoky Glow Highlighting Duo. I'm gonna use this shade Yes. Mm. Well, this isn't like the brightest highlight I've ever used. It gives such a pretty glow to the skin. I'm into it. Okay, I'm gonna go do my lashes real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So this is the final look. I put my little Kiss Blowout Lashes on because I just, they're easy, honestly. <laughs> they're just so, like, not heavy and easy for me to put on and easy to wear all day. And as much as I love a big lash, listen, we're not really doing a whole lot, so I just didn't need one. <laughs> Uh, for my lips, I used a combination of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk um, lip pencil and the Morphe Sweet Tea lip pencil. So I really like the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, but sometimes when I use the lip liner, I almost think it's too pink. So I put that all over, pretty much all over my lips. Not really the like inside here, but pretty much all over. And then just on these outside edges, I used the Sweet Tea because it makes it a little bit more brown. This is actually kind of like a darker brown color. It's pretty dark on its own, but I really like to use it to mix with other ones because 
like you can see it's not too brown but this sometimes I just really think it's too pink and then of course I topped it with my new favorite Patrick Ta major glow lip gloss in the shade she's expensive but yeah I'm obsessed with this lip gloss now it's so pretty okay let's talk some final thoughts I mean I really only tried the two new things so I I mean, those are really the only things I'll give my final thoughts about. I guess the foundation. I don't think that it looks too, like, matte or anything. I actually really like the finish of it, even with the powder. I'm not into the super, super, super matte look, but I do like to be a little bit more matte. Like, I don't love to look oily or greasy or too shiny. So I kind of like the finish of that foundation. Um. Anyway, so my two new items, like, new, new items that I used today, um, this eyebrow pen I really like it but I don't think I would use it if I was doing like a really full glam moment I almost think my eyebrows aren't because I like my eyebrows to be a little bit darker on the outside and you can't really do that with this but I like that they look really natural and they look very just like hairs and I like the tone of it for up here I just wish I want them to be dark I think next time I use this I'm going to use my normal technique which is a pencil on the outside and then this here in the front and see how that goes or if it would be like too light I don't know I think that's how I'm gonna try it but I am really glad I picked this up because I really like it and it's honestly the fastest I've ever done my brows literally ever and so I think for like a quick and easy makeup day this would be a great product to use this melted chocolate matte eyeshadow from Too Faced I also really like it. I thought it blended out really well. I really wasn't very sure about the color at first, but now that I have everything done, I do really like this color. Um, it almost maybe is a little bit fall, which pff, it might as well be here. It's literally cloudy and cold and windy. So anyway, <laughs> enough being bitter about that, I guess. But anyway, I really like this. I really, really like liquid shadows though. I just appreciate how quick and easy they are and how useful they can really be because that they are also a really good base for other colors so if you wanted to start this to frame the eye and then build like darker colors I think it would work really well for that as far as maybe like a comparison the other liquid eyeshadow that I have that I really like are the Huda ones and I think that this is gives you a little bit more time to work with than the Huda ones. The Huda ones dry down like real fast so that they can, so they get like a little bit patchy if you don't blend them fast enough. But this one, you get a little bit more time to blend, blend, blend. But you just have to be careful because a little of this does so much. So much. But anyway, yeah, that's kind of it. Those are like all of my new products. I finally got all my stuff from Sephora. I did get another new eyeshadow palette. Um, not from Sephora, but we're going to do a whole video on that one. So that, that is coming soon. Yeah. I'm also going to do a favorites video to talk about like specifically which of my recent purchases I like most. And I haven't done a favorites video in a minute. So we're going to do one of those soon too. But anyway, I am going to go. We have to go pick up our stuff and run our errands. So as always, I will have everything that I used today in this video linked down below. Um, I don't have any affiliate links. I might start doing that. I really haven't decided. But anyway, um, all, this, all this stuff will be linked down below. So if you guys want to check any of it out, you can click on that. Let me know what you guys think about these products that I used today. If you've tried any of them. You like them if you don't like them like let me know anyway i hope you guys are having a great day i hope we're having a great night a great whatever you're doing and i'll see you in the next one bye